Cape Cast. My name is Ian Ives. I'm the Sanctuary Director at Long Pasture Wildlife Sanctuary for Mass Audubon. And we are standing at the Butterfly Mosaic Trail, which hosts a huge number of monarch butterflies at this time of year. The trail here includes um, two sections of our open fields, and along this trail there are ten different plots, or butterfly gardens. And in each garden you can learn about the different types of butterflies that are native to the area and the types of plants that attract them. You could see 20 or 30 or so different types of varieties or species of butterflies walking along the trail. The monarchs are by far and away the most showy, they're the easiest to see, they're probably one of the most plentiful as well. People notice them because they're bright orange and in sunny days like today they're very active. They move all around the sanctuary bobbing from one nectar source to another. And all these, well not all, but a good chunk of these monarchs will emigrate basically like a bird migration except they just go down to Mexico they lay their eggs and then their young return to, to Cape Cod. So this species is, is different from many other butterflies in that it will travel long distances. So the monarchs, in order to reproduce, they um, release a pheromone, the female does, and the male's attracted to that pheromone. You'll often see them doing a sort of an acrobatic dance where they, they come together, the male being attracted to the female scent. The accepted modern day practice for observing butterflies is to, to come out with a pair of binoculars and to observe them through your binoculars from a distance. That way you don't run the risk of damaging their wings with a net. And that sort of idea of netting butterflies is something that we've learned from. So if you come out to the, um, the sanctuary to visit the trail, um, bring some uh, binoculars and you'll be able to get really vivid um, visuals by looking through your binoculars. Cape Cass!